चलो भाई मैना कड़े मैना रे चल आज लगे सीधा बैठा मैं चल मैं सीधा चल ला गया मैं जीवन पाचरा क्यों कोई बात नहीं पड़ो अभी कोई गाय अभी बार पांच दस दिन तक यार शाम का मोरे बोले आधी आजरी बोली ए मोरिया बोल गया फलानी रीगड़ी बोलो मोरिया बोल गया शाम का मेडर कहीं कह रही सारा सेंटर जब बुला ले सारा सेंटर वाला ना हाँ दिस इज राजस्थान वन ऑफ द ड्राइस्ट मोस्ट बैरन एरियाज ऑफ इंडिया एंड वन ऑफ द पोरेस्ट Of the 35 million people who live here, more than half can't get enough to eat. For many people, there's been little chance of any real improvement in their lives. But this place, the Social Work and Research Centre in the village of Tilonia, has brought them new hope. The centre has been running now for 10 years. It's one place where the local people aren't afraid to meet. and one place they can feel is their own the local people have been joined by experts from the city they're working together to try to break out of the vicious circle of poverty that has settled on the land and to introduce some new and positive programs for rural development सबसे बड़ी बात तो अगर लोकल लीडरशिप डेवलपमेंट करना चाहते हो तो उस स्त्री को आप इतना तैयार कर लो कि सारी मुसीबतों को सहन करके कि आप गांव में विकास का काम कर सके तो दोनों के बीच में आपसी एक विरोध मिलता है एक तरफ तो आप ये कहते हैं कि हमारी उम्मीदें उनसे बहुत अधिक हैं उम्मीदें अभी उम्मीदेंट पीपुलीपल the center people are being helped to help themselves they're being involved in deciding their own future the center believes that this is the secret of successful development work the director is sanjit roy after doing a bit of traveling in india and seeing some projects i felt that it was very necessary to professionalize rural development there were far too many projects in india which uh, did not uh, keep this aspect in mind when they were doing development work in a rural area so i felt that we should mobilize expertise available in the university in the colleges like doctors teachers engineers social workers geologists to come and live together in a village setting and provide this expertise to develop the rural areas 
The professional skills of the experts are used in an enormous range of activities, from drilling wells to running nursery schools, from health centres to craft workshops, from leather cooperatives to family planning. And most important of all, the professionals try to make sure that all these activities reach the people who need them most. When we first started in 72, we wanted to develop villages in which all the communities were involved. But later on we realized that these sort of services were being um, used only by the richer sections of the community. So we took a deliberate conscious decision to isolate some members, the dominant members of the community, and provide this expertise only to develop vulnerable social groups like marginal farmers, small farmers, um, rural artisans, harijans, the untouchables, rural women, agricultural laborers, and so on. But if the center is to help these vulnerable groups, it must also understand the caste system in which they live. The poorer members of society, the scheduled castes, have long been exploited by the people above them in the traditional social hierarchy. Aruna Roy works for the center. Traditional Indian society is divided into castes. These castes or varnas are further subdivided into jatis. In uh, village society you find many jatis. These jatis are related to occupations. Most of them um, still living occupations. Khemraj, another of the center's experts, is a local man. When you go into a village, you work with maybe 20 to 30 castes and each one of these castes has its own traditions, its own do's and don'ts. They don't intermarry, they don't probably eat with each other. Then there are some castes with e with, uh, which uh, eat with each other, there are some which don't. And unless one is aware of this entire social, cultural setting, one can't begin to work in a village. In this complex society, the center has to tread warily. Anyone who wants to make changes in the village must do so with a bit of cunning. Here, such subversive operations come in all shapes and sizes. Jokim Chacha, the center's puppet, who is also their secret agent, presents himself as just a lovable uncle. But his message is rather more devious. The song may be about washing hands in order to be healthy, but you can't have healthy children without clean water. And clean water may only be available to the richer castes in the village. Jokin Chacha knows what's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> Hello, my name is Joachim Chacha. I'm going to take you on a tour around the village. Uh, this house belongs to a Muslim family. There's only one Muslim house in this village. I'm Muslim too. Uh, would you like to uh, look inside? Huh? Yes? Go on, don't be shy. Go inside. Have a look for yourself. The family living here are Hindus of the Gujar caste. Uh, let's have a look at their house. The one you saw before was Muslim. Hindus and Muslims live together quite happily here. The Sarpanch of the village, the head, is a Gujar. They work as milkmen and cattle herders. Oh, oh, ya Allah. Oh, oh, hello again. This part of the village is where the Regars live. The Regars are all leather workers. Uh, they have become very poor because nowadays there's little demand for their work.
The Ragers are a scheduled caste, people who are low in the caste hierarchy because they work with the skin of the cow, an animal which is sacred to all Hindus. In recent years, their traditional craft has become an increasingly precarious way of earning a living. They're being undercut by cheaper factory goods. The center helped the Regas set up a leather workers cooperative. Because they have a cooperative, the Regas can now get credit on reasonable terms. They can buy better quality raw materials so they can make better quality products. And the center, and not some unscrupulous middleman, can sell what they make. The co-op may have been a change for the better for the rakers, but for the money lenders, it was a change for the worse. The co-op success brought conflict into the village, as the centre's workers discovered. We found that naturally you develop a certain amount of opposition in the village. But um, some people wouldn't like that programme to take place because that many more vulnerable uh, families belonging to the vulnerable section of the community would be helped, would rise in social, social and economic status. This society is going on and we are इस बीच में सेंटर की तरफ से और हमारे सभी के सहयोग से राजस्थान के गृह मंत्री सचिव श्री तलोसिन जी जैन यहां पर टेंडर के उद्घाटन के लिए आए थे उस टेंडर का उद्घाटन करने के लिए वैसे गांव की तरफ से हमारे ऊपर कोई सहयोग नहीं था लेकिन लेकिन हम सभी रेगर बंधु और सेंटर की तरफ से उस सहयोग में शामिल हुए तिलोसिन जैन के उद्घाटन होने के बाद और सिलेनास जो था वहां पर गांव की कुछ सहयोग न होने कारण तब उनके कुछ मन में शंका हुई थी the Rega Co-op survived this pressure, and the centre learnt an important lesson. There's no development without confrontation. Now we felt that, you know, if you went into a village and you found that everyone was for your projects, the rich and the poor, the exploiter and the exploited, then we found there's something wrong with the project. You know, everyone shouldn't be agreeable to a project. There should be some people who resent a particular project. You know? Any advancement of the poor man, the low caste man, like a rega, is seen as a threat by the man higher up the caste system, like the moneylender, the rich man in his castle. But besides this, there are other tensions in the village. Conflicts over the advancement of a different group of people who have long been oppressed, the women. We've been terribly influenced in Rajasthan by the Muslims and women cover their faces most of the time. It's considered indecent to expose yourself, your face or your head. And among certain castes, like the Rajputs, women don't leave their homes, not even to fetch water. This is the house of a Rajput family. This family used to run the village, but now they have to find work in the fields. The women used to be kept indoors and out of sight. It was called Parda. You know, Parda. But look, you can see that this Rajput lady, with her baby, has actually come out to the door. Ah, times are changing. Village women um, fall under different...